Welcome everyone to the 203rd Knowledge Seekers Workshop for Thursday, December 21st, 2017. And as always, we welcome everyone here. With uh, We have a change of season occurring today on the 21st of December 2017. And uh, I'm sure that Mr. Kesh has uh, various changes he would like to discuss as well. Mr. Kesh, are you available to start today's activities? Yes, uh, good morning, good day to you. As usual, wherever and whenever you listen to these knowledge seekers programs. Yes, as you said, today is the 21st of December, it's change of autumn to winter season. Tonight is the longest night of the year, or shortest day of the year. Um, in different cultures, uh, celebrate tonight in different ways. And in some cultures, it's just another day. In the Iranian culture, we celebrate tonight, we call it Shabi Yadam, means the night of the longest night. And it's celebrated with different setting of tables and different celebrations. I hope it's a celebration for a lot of us in the change of seasons and brings good luck and good days for all of us. In so many ways, our teaching is gathering in different ways and different directions. And uh, what I have seen and what we see, it goes through um, another phase. We try, as we said last time, last teaching, to bring more of the teaching of the past to the present and to gathering the knowledge and conversing into, into new dimensions and times. There are a number of points which we have to realize. We see around the Keshe Foundation people who have been around the Foundation and now they see by establishing different setup and organizations that they can financially benefit. They're using the gas technology and nanotechnology, they deny everything because we have told them they cannot use or sell anything without certification. Now they deny even the knowledge belongs to the Foundation. It's good at least others would benefit by it, but we know what happened to those who denied the others and what happened to them, the way it happened. It's good to understand the technology, spread it, teach it, and if you want to claim it, you can claim it. There is no problem, because at the end of the day, the benefits of it counts, not who claims what. This comes from lack of understanding, and we've seen many people have done this in the past two or three years, coming to the Foundation, learning, and then claiming. This is going to happen a lot, and we've seen many of them are actually struggling to live at the moment in different shape or form with what they've done. This should be, we should give from our souls to elevate them, that they use the knowledge the correct way to elevate the others. In so many ways, those of you who are going into or selling goods, um, governments, so authorities do not mind cottage industry, you can sell a soap here, a soap there. But if you're going into mass production in selling, selling quantity, then you're on the watch. We are working with the governmental organizations to bring some orders to these things. And the certification will come through us, it'll take us under six months, twelve months to put everything in order, that we can transfer our certifications from one country to another. But those of you who are producing materials, please make sure you reach certification. There are people who've been around Foundation and are selling goods uncertified. You're playing with your, um, what you call, production lines. Where there is no certification and you have to be careful. Do not sell ganses, do not buy ganses from people who just advertise on the Internet, selling gans with a certification number. There are a number of people uh, selling all sorts of things like this. These have to be certified. If you see them, you're quite okay to report them to authorities on the Internet and to the local authorities for the product to be checked. This is not to block anyone, this is to be correct. We've seen people who've been members of the part of the Cash Foundation and now they've set up selling goods. Please do not sell goods if you do not have self-certification or FDA certification. And we advise those of you who see it on the Internet, report them to the authorities. They could be using Internet 
report it to the internet organizations to shut these things down because they bring us problems in the future. Keshe Foundation products, anywhere we sell, is fully certified. Anything comes from Accra, anything comes from Italy, anything comes from any other organizations which is need certification, has to have certification. We have to be law abiding, we cannot break the law. So please make sure you see on the internet, inform the people there is no certification. This is how we have to monitor, and a lot of people who we have asked them to monitor now, they claim they know this from somewhere, or they've done something else, nothing to do with the Foundation. They've changed the wording on their websites. This will not stop. We will start collaborating with the organization, I've said this before, to monitor these things. We inform, you have to inform yourself of what product is where. A lot of these products, are made in the back of the kitchens, or whatever, has to be certified. We help you, we support you to get certification wherever it's possible, but cannot you cannot sell products without certification. As one nation, we have to, at this moment, combine our works with authorities to bring these certifications into operation. And we've seen many people, the minute we tell them they have to withdraw the material, or cannot use the name of the Keshe Foundation, because it's illegal selling products, which are not certified, then they go against the Foundation, attacking and saying it's all their knowledge. That's good, we respect that. If it's your knowledge, it's good. But you cannot sell things by change of words, and we work with authorities to certify things that it's easier for people in the coming time to be able to work. There's a lot of works going in the background. On the other hand, we heard a very sad news this week, that the inventor, as you know, of the water engine was, um, he was dead, or he was killed, in September, having dinner with two Belgians on the table. And the death was instantaneous, the same way as what we've seen, a stroke, heart attack, or brain hemorrhage, which is the effect of this water, clean water they give, I had them, Caroline had them, and Mr. Slot had the same thing two days later, died, and we've seen it with the same other inventors, Mr. Fong in, in Belgium. So, if you are inventors, if you are in any shape or form connected, a wide meeting with people of this caliber. If you have developed anything of the Keshe Foundation, read the news, go into the news and read about the water, the, the scientists who produced the water engine, which uses no oil. He said on the table, I've been poisoned with two Belgians on the table, and he died instantly, instantly. So, our soul goes to the family, we've been through it. It's the same nation, the same people, the same pattern of work. And, at the moment, we have track record of some 200 scientists killed in meeting all around, anything to do with that nation and their people. Our condolences goes to the family for such a beautiful scientist, but as you are becoming more and more expert in these things, do not seek any connection anywhere in any meeting with these nationals. It's for your protection, read the press. It's just come available. So, this is what we have to do, what we have to watch, and when we said it was not, this is a fresh, Another murder, we are aware of 200 murders by the same kind of people, the same organization, and we know the name. I've met with these people around when I was in that place, in that country. So we knew our problems started with these kind of people, but be aware and be vigilant. You are all becoming new scientists, you are all becoming new people who develop technologies to use different aspects of technology. Keep away from these people. They now are so bold, they have done so many, that they kill on the table while you're having dinner. It's in the press. On the other hand, we have to go further. We have developed our technologies. We have um, seen this kind of operation of the soul. But as part of the teaching, as part of the understanding, as part of knowing the knowledge, we have to be able to cross knowledge from one section to another.
This is where the expertise come. Years ago, I met a couple of officials from United Nations and scientific organizations. They explained to me something which now, with us where we are, is becoming more and more applicable to us. They said there are millions of people who understand one small part of one topic. There are hundreds of thousands of scientists who understand in the depth of the same knowledge, let's say, in two topics of chemistry, one very good, one very bad. There are thousands of scientists who understand a small part of, let's say, chemistry into physics, or connection, physics into biology. There are very few thousand people who can understand some bigger parts of one science connected to one or two parts of another. There are hundred, very, very, very limited number, who are good mainly in the majority of one topic like biology and part of chemistry. There are a handful of scientists who understand fully one subject and they can relate to two subjects, like they are good in biology, but they understand part of an application in chemistry and part in physics. There are very few scientists, less than a handful, who can know fully about the biology and understand, for example, in physics. And they come every 10 to 20 years, we see one lot. There are scientists who understand, can go freely from one subject, like physics into chemistry, chemistry into biology, and they understand the totality of the full knowledge. And there are very few, they come every 500 years, 600 years, every couple of hundred years. Da Vinci was one of the last ones we know. So, in our subject, we are coming to the same thing. Some of you will become expert in nano, some of them become expert in fields, some of you become expert in plasma, some of you become expert in products, effect of the use of the plasma on the body of the man. Some of you will start, will start understanding how you can use the nanotechnology in respect to elevation of the soul of the man. So, the technology is getting a full spectrum of these understandings. Those of you who started very early with us, years ago, you have a better view of totality. Those of who are joining in that time, they see one or one part which has attracted them. Some of you will start opening to see the spectrum. Does not need to be a doctor, a professor, a educated man to see this, because now, we are writing the totally a new language in science. We look at the chemistry or interaction of the fields in the chemistry of plasma, different than the present chemistry. We are looking at the interaction of the fields on the structure of the body of the man, through the soul of the man, through what the soul of the physicality creates in the physical matter direction. So we see we go from plasma, to matter content and the rest. This is how it should be. This is how the totality will refer to all of us. We all have set up, we are setting up, and we have to understand that we, some of us, like to be specialized in one point, nano coating, different type of nano coating. What does the nano coating gives? and what kind of next step will be. We don't want to go into the GANS production, we make expert in it. This is a matter of state of the technology. Some of us who go into the plasma, and then in that section, we have the mixture of plasma. This is the chemistry of the science, new science. Some of us go to the next step, look at the creation of the um, line of what we call amino acid, and the interaction with the heart of the creation of the, the structure of life. This is the new science of biology of the plasma technology. Some of us go to the next step of the science, which is 
the interaction of the plasmas in the matter state and the Gans state and the condition of the amino acid plasma fields, which leads to the creation of physicality and life and emotion and so. So, now we have gone into the next step, because we've seen the effect of what plasma controls itself, dictates itself, what it produces and how it produces, now allows us to look at the science of the creation in a totally fresh new angle. We have no professors, we have no doctors, we have, we don't give any PhDs and we don't give, you're a housewife, you don't understand, you're a layman, you don't understand. With this technology, all of us understand. According and in balance to our own intelligence and mainly, mainly through the darkness we have with the knowledge we gain from the past. Does it fit into what we learned? Or we start fresh, we look at it fresh and we start a fresh cycle of knowledge. So, what is important for all of us? Because in the past two or three weeks, teachings and understanding and elevation of the souls and inspiring you to understand, I have started bringing different part of the technology together that you become all in the level of understanding as you wish to become the Da Vinci's of the time, the present time. In a way that with a fresh understanding, you do not get locked into one. You become expert in nano, but understand the nano materials you make, what consequences it has, what cycle of life it creates, what cycle of plasma chemistry it creates, what kind of soul the nanomaterial you made leads to the creation of? These are all what is important for us to understand. These are what I call the enlightenment of the knowledge of the present time. So, as the present scientists, they have to be specialists in certain things with the new knowledge, you don't need to be a specialist in one thing. As you understand the totality, you become a specialized in all aspects of the knowledge. And this is important. And this is what we need to bring. This is what is important for all of us to understand. That we do not become narrow-minded, because our narrow-mindedness at this stage, at this time, at this uh, part of development of the knowledge of the man, can lead and create problem for us in this space. Because when we look at the totality, we see everything. Then we don't need to be the scientist of chemistry or physical part of the plasma or the Gans or whatever, but we need to be the scientist who understands the basic, the fundamental interaction of the plasmatic fields, that it leads to creation of the matter state, it leads to creation of amino acids, it leads to us to create the amino acids. In space we cannot go and find a zinc plate, a copper plate and find somewhere there is oxygen that we create CO2 and we can create amino acid on top of it, that we can create the soul. We have to understand how the interaction of the fields has led to creation of that amino acid. So, in this space, we decide what amino acid we produce from the interaction of the fields of our own soul, in the dimension of physicality. Then, it comes to a point which we raised last week. We understood the creation of the soul through interaction of the field the strength of the amino acid. Now, how to feed it? The biggest problem, as we said last week, and some of you understood, and some still trying to understand, is how do I feed myself? We've taught this, all of it. And it's important now that we can go back in comparison to the physical teaching, the physical matter or matter state of the plasma and the plasma free direction of the field interaction. What does this mean? It means, if you look, if you understood, 
in the teaching of the past few weeks, we said that the field of strength from the soul of the man in the interaction with the field of strength of the planet, the gravity, the inertia, and in the condition of the fields created by interaction of the fields between the sun and the earth, leads to creation of the soul of the man, and then the soul itself in attraction with these elements, by radiating its fields, and how they interact, leads to the creation of the physicality, which is a weaker part. Weaker in a matter state field strength, compared to the strength of the soul of the man, but not compared to the soul of the physicality, which is a smaller of the same. Then, it should have become very transparent for all of you, how you feed yourself. Goes back to the principle of the teaching of the Foundation. We are here to serve, and not to be served. What does this mean? This means a very, very simple fact. When you have a soul, which is of a higher strength, all you need to do, you need to find the condition, the position, where by giving from your soul, lead to conversion of the fields, that in that process, the gradual field becomes the food for physicality, confirmation of the existence. So, if you go back to the other part of the teachings we did, we always said, the stronger plasma, the bigger plasma, always feeds, gives to the lowest strength, and gives to the smaller, for them to elevate to the higher level, that they become balanced. That, the what I give, you take what you take, what I don't need, and I take what you don't need. And this process should have become understood, is the process of feeding. This is how you feed, this is how you absorb energy from the space of the environment, when you're in deep space. There are no cows, there are no steaks, there are no kangaroos roast, and there are no beef burgers and hamburgers and ketchups. But, you have to learn how you absorb energy from the space of the universe. You can absorb if you have somewhere to give to. This is the ethos of the understanding of a life in the universe. You cannot just get, you have to be able to give that you have a space to receive and in that process, what you do not need of the higher or lower order you give. So, to be able to feed the body of the man, as any entity looking, 10 legs, 20 arms, 14 eyes, or whatever, in one position, and no legs, and a fish life in another, or become the totality of the plasma, floating in the space of the universe, all need a point of feed, a point of giving. And in that process of giving, what is the residual, become the food to the soul of the man. Now you understand the ethos of the teaching of the Foundation. We are here to serve, and not to be served. Because in space, you cannot absorb, if you cannot give. Because there is no flow through. And in that process of giving what comes to you to give, becomes the food for the soul of the man. It becomes then, in interaction, at the direction of the lower strength, the physicality of the man. In fact, you give from what you become your food from space, to create your own physicality. If need be, if the interaction with the environmental field of strength, decided to be. You got to remember something very, very interesting. There is a lot of teachings in the present time, which is actually, um, comes through the lack of understanding. Is that, we say, in this process of life, we go on a DNA and RNA. There is a physical DNA, a physical RNA,
but there is a planetary and RNA too, which that dictates what is needed on this planet. All the time we say is on DNA and RNA, we have two kidneys, one liver, we have one processing, we have two eyes. But you have to understand that the information about the creation of such a system is embedded in the structure of the soul of the RNA of this planet. When you are born, when you are conceived in the womb of the mother, you see, they say, this comes, this is part of RNA to do with the gene, gene this, that. But they have not understood. There is a field force effect, which has become part of the structure of the life on this planet, which is the RNA and DNA of this planet. Which, in interaction, in its existence, enforces life in the conditions that we see. Sensory vision, two eyes. Sensory touch. Disposal unit. These all have come. In a very good example of this is what we see in the rivers. We see there is nowhere life, and after rain and combination of time, fish appears, or life appears. Transmutation of the field strengths in conformation of the existence of the position is the reason for the creation of new life in these conditions. Where there has never been fish, fish appears. Because the salinity of the water dictates the condition the reflection of the RNA and DNA of the planet to create life in these waters. Now that the man becomes educated, he can understand more and unravel what has been the mystery. You get a system, you create CO2 and the Gans of it, and then the fields of it, you put it in a patch, and then you put it on your body, and it removes pain, or it reduces pain. Or, in the knowledge of the masters of this technology now, you can create or remove entities from the body or introduce to. So it's the same the field transfer, in comparison to what it is, in condition of what you have created, transfers the RNA, DNA, and conformation of the new life. So, in fact, if we can replicate every condition of this planet, on another planet, anywhere in this universe, we can replicate life. The same as this, because, they here, we have the atmosphere of the Earth, which replicates the fish. We are part of universal ocean of fields. In balance and strength, the same applies. In balance and strength, we can replicate. There is a very big question. Was life ever transported onto this planet, the same way. Are we a copy? Are we part of duplication? Maybe. But, due to interaction of the fields of this planet, it has its own characteristics as well. It has its own dimensions as well. It has its own structure. We are all human, but if we are in part of the world, we become blue eyes and blonde hair, and the other, we are black eyes and brown hairs, because the condition of the environment has dictated, not the entirety of the man. So, this is important for us to understand. This is for us, just one second, please. <laughs> yes, a little boy wants to be part of the teaching. Okay, Tiffany. Come on, sit down. In this process, we have to understand, we have to be 
open-minded. We have to be clear enough about the totality of the knowledge and not be restricted into what we think we cannot understand. If man stays open-minded, in a way be open to give from his soul, even to his enemies, the enemies will change too. If you give the same to your friends, they change too. If you give to any environment, unconditionally, they change too, if the intention of giving is to serve. And it's the same across this planet, across the universe. This is what, if you understand, you can receive the energy of a certain fields, which is not available on this planet, from another position in the universe. If you understand the absorption of energy from the space of the fields, of the ocean of the plasmas of the universe. In the teaching last week, in a very open way, we explained that the soul of the man receives majority of his fields from the depth of the universe, from the depth of the planet, of the highest strength of it. It's not that it absorbs very little. Anything which is at the strength of itself, it will absorb as it needs from the dimensions of the universe. It doesn't take the lowest, and it doesn't take the medium, or doesn't take higher than itself. It takes what it needs, from the space of universe, it transfers that energy as a plasma into the dimension of the physicality, and then it leaves it to the brain of the man, or what we call the transition part of the life, for it to decide what this energy is going to manifest itself as an end product. As we said, it's like a door. Once you made the dough one, then you decide, is it going to be a cake, a bread, a cookie? Is it going to be an arm, a leg and a liver? According to what is needed. Otherwise, it's the same dough. It's the same field of strength from the soul of the man. This is what is, have, has to be understood by all of us. Then, we become the scientists of the universe. No restriction, becoming physicists, chemists, biologists, plasma specialists, heart surgeons, or a farmer. Because we understand the operation of the soul, right across the whole, entire understanding. Now, we understand the totality. Now, we have to be open-minded to understand the totality. The point which we decide that's our limit, this is where we want to be, there is nothing wrong with it. It's the pleasure of the soul of the man to serve at that strength, and that point. It is for all of us to understand. It's for all of us to be aware of the totality. But, choose which part of it we want to be with, or work with, or function through. This is the key. This is the process we need to understand. So, in so many ways, even if I stop the talk today, you have, should have, must have, at least had an insight in how to feed yourself. In the space. You need 
a second entity to be able, by the confirmation of it, to be able to receive that you can give. In the mythology and into the history of the man, we call it Adam and Eve. By giving part of itself, as we say in the history of man, Adam created Eve. Not only to confirm the confirmation of his physicality, but to confirm he can love, which is giving. Which confirms, I exist. Adam did not create Eve for the physicality of life. Adam created Eve for confirmation of, I exist. I can be a giver, by giving, I lead to the creation. To the creation of symbolic a woman, but in reality, confirmation of my own existence. That I can exist, but I need confirmation of my existence. I can love, but I need to have something to love. Something that can love me back to confirm I am a giver. In a way, the process of what we see then in the mysteries of whatever, is in fact the story of life in space. It's what we call existence. What we call feeding oneself, that through feeding, we need to feed another. That what is come to us, becomes our food. As long as it's us, there will be no existence. As long as there is a lover for us to give to, we confirm our existence. I made man in the image of myself. I needed to create an image for me to love, that by loving it, I can receive back life. To confirm my existence. This becomes very clear, how in a space, we can create the condition of existence, any point in the universe. Because we receive the same field strength, but according to the condition of environment, we find ourselves and our soul decides to appear itself, then we allow the field strength of that environment to be created, that it leads to the confirmation of our existence. We are Adam anywhere in the universe. It's our destination, it's our wish to create what Eve at the point of destination of the manifestation. And this is the secret of life. It's the same way you will exist in the space. No one dies in the space. Just because we have seen here on this planet, if we don't have air, we die. If you are not in the water, we die. We need to be a fish in the water. But in fact, if you live through the soul of the being, you can live in the water, you can live in the fish, you can live in the sea, you can live in depth of the magma of this planet. Or you can live at the higher levels, hundreds of degrees below, temperatures the man has made for himself. This is the beauty of us to understand the totality. And these teachings are for this purpose, to open the horizon of understanding and the fear of the man from what has become a fear, but it doesn't actually exist. If man leaves this planet through the existence of his soul and understand that it's the soul which dictates his manifestation at any point in the universe, according to the fields which he releases in interaction with the field of the environment it likes to peer itself to, then man has become free. Man has become part of universal community, because the universe is one community. It's very much in a larger scale, in the teachings that we have started. One nation, one planet, one soul, one universe, is all the same. It's for the man to decide 
would like to be a physicist, a chemist, biologist, a farmer, or a candlestick maker. Otherwise, in essence, all have souls, all exist, and they decide in what dimension they want to exist and manifest themselves as. Now you understand. Now you can see, it's the soul of the man, once we understand it, that becomes the creation of the manifestation of the soul of the physicality, which in interaction with the field environment of the existence, leads to the manifestation of the physical life in that environment. And sometimes, you have part of which fits, and the other part which does not. Then, we'll see a mixture of the manifestations, which this become very, very frequent for the man of the space. We see entities, with the creation of the soul we can feel, but the physicality is not there. Or we see the physicality, but we cannot see the soul. In the dimension which we are looking for. But in fact, if we look in another strength and dimension, we find life existence. Then we decide we want to match that, or we want to reach that level of our soul, to be able to manifest ourselves at that level. What we call, we become the lover, and we change everything to fit, that we match with our lover. which means we become the givers. We give up and we give to the level that compared to them, we become manifest to them, but not necessarily to the others. Those of you who enter the dimension of Gans technology in the amino acid level, and then the fields beyond the amino acid level, you start feeling. You start seeing in a dimension, because now you feed the soul to learn how to, and then you will see it, and you become interaction, and you will interact with new dimensions. For a lot of you, confirmation of the existence of the soul through the water and guns of the body of the man, has been a problem. Where we see, when the egg and the sperm come together, and create this, what we call the center, the essence. In the teachings of the past, we had this. Those who came as the masters, and developed it, and then they could not understand it, but they had to wait for it, that's the right time for it to come. They have recorded it. Then, what you see in these recordings of the teachings over the past four or five years, is what now you can relate to creation of twin souls, what we call beautiful people. Creation of twin souls of us, one of our physicality, and one of our total essence, and the interaction with each other. I've asked our team in the background for past week to look, and find all the recordings, and it's about five or six minutes of it. Sandor has found it, and has put it together, Rick or Sandor, if any of you would like, just watch these. It's a very simple, simple try to explain it. This is part of the teaching of the past, that time could not make sense. Now, it can make sense. You got the feedback here? I was muted. The echo is not from me. Okay. So, can we, I can hear myself like somebody, this is open channel. So, if you like to play this, and listen to it, it's about six minutes of it, and then look how that void, that cavity, that soul, through the interaction of one or two elements, have created, and have been created. And then you see the interaction of mixture of cancers, which leads to creation of different, what they call um, principal matters in the center. Would you like to play this, please? Sandor? Yes, I will start to play it, and uh, from the half of it, uh, it's uh, no sound, so it's possible to give explanations if you, if you want to. Okay, carry on, please. You have tested your reactors, you increase the speed, you reduce the speed. Now, 
the first time. Some of you have seen a. Uh, Sandor, you have to turn your volume down. Okay, carry on. What I call the principle. You have tested your reactors, you increase the speed, you reduce the speed. Now, for the first time, some of you have seen a, a, what I call the principal core in the center of your cores. We have seen the last time the showing of a column core, a center core. In the past uh, week, we have seen, uh, I think, it's better. Uh, with double cores. Uh, center core, and uh, I was asked to explain, I explained this to Elia, what it means. You will reach new understandings, you will observe new things, and we explain it as you reach it. The double core we see with uh, Ritter is because you have the mixture of two elements, and the two elements gravitational magnetic field, due to the mixture you have used, there is a most, most probably, some, sorry about this, is the mascot of the foundation, he is, because he has to confirm. Uh, so, the, the plasma, the material, there is some material, there is a separation between the two bubbles, one belongs to the CO2, and one, one core belongs to the, what do you call, copper oxide. So, they have created their own, uh, central core, but because of the way your material is mixed together in the core, they have a line of connection between each other. This is a field connection. And that's why you have two twin centers. You will see in time light within these cores. Because the plasmas will interact by layering inside each other, and that interface, as I explained uh, about the creation of matter in the plasma with the gravitational magnetic field of different uh, strength. Now, in the coming time, as you mix materials, you will see you create light within these uh, what you call center plasmas. These center principles, because they will radiate different fields and in attraction and reduction from the environment, then you will start seeing light, this. they become like a light bulbs. The interaction will come from inside. You don't get a light as is outside, as a light bulb, you see. The light inside will come from the same structure of plasma. And then you will start understanding how you can control these, um, what they call the centralized plasmas, to create different matters. This <clears throat> double plasma separation you've seen is the beginning of your understanding of the creation of life. If you can mix and control the CO2 and the GANS in a specific order in your reactors, I'll show you in the future how to do it. Then you create one reactor and the two plasmas will merge inside each other. And as they have different strength fields, they interact and you will see the light inside the bulb. What we see here is the center plasma, which is created, what we call the soul. And this goes back to nearly three years ago's teaching. You see a bubble, the center, which holds in that position, exactly like the soul of the man. Is the interaction of the cells, magnetic gravitational fields of the amino acids, which have entered from egg and sperm together, which has led to creation of this center. So it's the same with this. This is how, for the first time, you can see the creation of what we call the principal matter, what we call the soul of the man, what we call the beginning of life. If we allow this field to transfer, then we can find matter of physicality with it, at the point of reduction. 
these are not empty spaces. These are created by pull and push of the fields of different strength. If you freeze the picture, you can see the ball, the little light, the little bubble in the center. That is totally created out of the field strength, interaction of the fields of the matter inside. This is what we said a few weeks ago, when we find this video, you can see it clearly. If you create a condition of the mixture of amino acids, mixture of the field strength, you will see the structure of the life. Maybe feel it as a field strength, maybe feel it as totality as well. This is what you see, as a single light right in the center, or two bubbles right in the center. It's not there. When you start rotating at a certain speed, the field separation creates. This goes back to a lot of theories that the people say there is a hollow center in every planet. Yes, there could be. From the interaction, you see this is a very, very clear, you see the soul right in the center. This is done by knowledge seekers. This is done by those who have experimented the answer in new ways, and how they have developed and how they see. It's important for all of us to understand this, because then you understand there is a soul within the structure of the body of the man, which was seeded from the original platform of the amino acids, which created it. It just adds to it, layer by layer, as time goes. That's what he absorbs from the universe, what he absorbs from the environment of the universe. We don't need to put more guns in it. It just creates a balanced condition of fields, and then from then on, it's more powerful that in the future, when the man looks, you will see fields which go beyond this system. In the body of the man, we call it the aura of the man. It's created the same. This system, without bubble, change of the size of the bubble will create different aura around, around this ball. I um, Sorry. I remember in 2014, Mr. Cash taught, uh, taught us when we started to make such uh, spinning reactors with GANS that uh, the creation of the plasma shall uh, be done slowly, gradiently, and at the beginning we shall not uh, turn our reactors with 2000 RPM, but we have to start very slowly and within maybe one, two weeks to reach uh, 200 RPM only. To let uh, to allow time for plasma to build up exactly like uh, last uh, week you said the example with the marathon runner who if it's very fast uh, he cannot pick any water uh, which is offered uh, to drink but who runs at the right speed uh, can pick all the bottles you still run the marathon <laughs> yeah more bottles heavier to run not running, let's just, I put together the old teachings with the newer teachings. Thank you very much. Now we see, if there was a doubt in those of you about the creation of the principal matter in the center of the Gans liquid, when you try the amino acid, when this center is created, you feel the emotion of it. But learn that the GANS, the amino acid GANS, has to be of different materials, different strength, for you to have, or be able to absorb, or observe, or feel part of the elements. If the field created by center point is not at the strength that you physically might feel, or emotionally accept, it's just another ball. It could fit in the strength of your dog, feeling, and he starts crying, or run, or laugh, 
or in run the amount of the fish that you find him to walk swim rapidly or turn upside down and swim because that is, that's what the thing creates so we have to put aside all the restrictions which we made for ourselves to be able to confirm that we understand if we accept and understand the totality then you understand life emotion intention can be developed exist in every strength and dimension and every point of this planet in the universe this is what I said. <coughs> if you listen to part of this uh, um, 44th teaching, if I remember correctly, we refer to the existence of the soul at that time. It's just a touch mention. But now you understand, we had the knowledge even three years ago, but if he would have told you this, it would have shocked you. It's, um, there's a link, listen to it, go back and listen to it. It's a very, very touch. I touch about the soul of the man. The creation of the soul in these systems. Because at that time we could not explain. You were all in the nursery of the knowledge and teaching you, would you like to switch up please, son? Um, teaching you about, um, we can see your page, would you like to shut down please? Then, uh, yes, have... uh, Rick is sharing, I'm sorry. A very big echo happening through Shandor's system, so I was trying to share the same video image, but if you don't need it anymore, uh, then we'll put yeah. on our regular background. Just put the regular background please. Okay, so you, you understand? The knowledge was there even four years ago. But the students were not ready to sit for the exam of life. So, in so many ways, it's not something that we have come up with. Now, you are ready for. You are understanding more that you can develop the rest. You can understand and explain and expose different beauties of the knowledge according to your understanding. The knowledge has been there. Around 40th, 35 to about 55 teachings, if you go and listen to some part of it, it literally tells you the same thing that's what I have been telling you, in a dimension, in a direction of the soul of the man. Now you can connect. It is for us, and it's my wish, that none of those who listen or work around the Foundation ever put a rule down, this is how it has to be. The minute you have put the rule down, it means you have stopped understanding any further. We give you the CO2 box, and we give you a power supply. There is no instruction that it has to be at 1 volt and 0 0.1 amp. At 1 volt, 0 0.1 amp, depending on the copper plate you have, and the zinc plate you have, or on the zinc plate, nano-coated, and this plain zinc plate, you create a specific energy plasma, according what and how the plasma of the copper was created inside the matter state of it. And my copper, for my experiment, comes from Africa. Your copper, from your experiment, comes from Asia. As I always say, just because the guy has a moustache is not your uncle. Each uncle has different beauty and different attributes. Would you like to play with the uncle who is joyful? Or would you like to play with the uncle who is a jumper and takes you to do a high jump? 
This is what we have to understand. This is what we have to elevate and promote to give to our own soul, to the others, to reach the elevation of our soul. In a very simple way, I have taught you today exactly how to feed yourself. If you are those who want not to have with physicality, try and you achieve it. The very first time I declared my position to Caroline, she said, what are you doing here? I said, I've come here to enjoy the pleasures of physicality and understand life. She said, isn't the whole like this anywhere in the universe, other things? I said, no. Here we can taste, we can smell, we can enjoy the physicality, until we don't go through the process to understand why man commits so much crime for these physicalities, we cannot take man out of it. And it's taken me years to understand it, to see the weakness and the strength, to be able to see why man kills, why man falls in love, why man becomes physical to another. And once we understand this, then we can merge it, we can elevate the soul of the physical man to understand a dimension which is above physicality. But how can I teach if I have tasted myself? How can I tell you how delicious a cookie is till I don't eat it, or I don't make it myself that I can taste it? Many messages of the past, as I said, I will not make the same mistakes, unless I decide that it's not a mistake, made the physical mistake of getting involved in physicality. But, the soul was given the message to deliver the message of the soul. They converted it into the physical dimension of strength, not the message which came to them. We have to decide what is acceptable at the point of manifestation. And what is the condition of the manifestation at the point we want to manifest ourselves. But we still carry the ethos that we have to be at the level of the giver, at the level of the receiver, at the level of being both at the same time, to give, and in giving, understanding there is a need to receive, that I can give more. If you keep on taking water out of a cup, spoon by spoon, there will be soon not left in the cup, unless you put additional in. So it's the same with the soul of the man. Soul, a beginning, what you call the principal matter, what you call the black hole or whatever, needs to receive, otherwise it'll have nothing left to give in time to come. But in receiving, there's interaction with the fields which come in, with those which go out. And the difference creates light at the same time. It's so much taking, and that we cannot see the giving. Read the paper, The Creation of the Black Hole. If you understand that principle, you have understood the essence of the creation. The paper, The Creation of Black Hole, is the backbone of understanding the creation in the universe. It's not, if you are narrow-minded, that you're looking at 
object of entity, then you let stock. But if you understand the essence of that paper, then you understand the totality of the creation. That's why it was written as one of the first papers. Because that paper explains everything in the life of the creation. That when I example give, when the energy goes in, you see a light. That light, if it's created, means it comes out. So it's the beginning of the creation of life is giving, but we do not see. Now you understand, and you can see how we go from the present teaching of the soul to the physical dimension of the teaching of the past, and this makes it life easy for all of you. Because now you can relate to everything. Your creation, you being the creator, you have to be a just and a correct creator, that in what you create does not end up by mistake to demise of yourself. Unless this was your intention. The only apple between the Creator and the created is the wish, the condition which the environment creates. That you have to work with it. Now, I hope it's been made much more clear. Then it comes to, how do we communicate with each other? That what we need, and what we receive. In the language of a man, we use the voice, and signs, and letters, but what is, and how the souls interact. How do you understand the feeling of the soul? We know the emotion of, joy and laughter, we know the emotion of sadness, but go back, I made man in the image of myself, so does your soul feels the pain of the loss, or the joy of gaining by others from what they give, what I give for it to exist. The emotion of the soul of the man to lead to the condition of interaction and creation of the physicality of the soul of the man is the essence of the creation in the physical matter dimension. In the physical matter dimension, we speak about the weight and the mass. But, we never considered that the weight and the mass are from the interaction of the fields of entity on its own itself, or in interaction with the fields of the environment of the entity by itself. But then again, according to the inertia gravitational magnetic field, not the mass gravitational field of the center. There is a big difference, because we only can manifest fields of the given strength, if that field is within the structure of the planet. If an element which is in space and we don't have it, we cannot absorb it, and because we can't absorb it, we cannot create its physical condition, we cannot create copper on this planet, if within the structure of the gravitational magnetic field of this planet, part of it, Copper doesn't exist. It has to have that field of strength that it can absorb it. And then by absorbing it in, then according to the field of strength of the environment, come transfers it into the matter state of the copper, we see it as a matter of copper. So shall be the presence of man, confirmation of the existence of the man, according to the environment which it manifests itself in a physical dimension, if Physicality is part of the inertia of that entity. Otherwise, it cannot do. And this is important for us to understand. Otherwise, 
we miss the whole process of creation, creating, and at the same time, being able to feed what we have created. You cannot create a life in a soul physical level, if you cannot feed it. So, it has to be at the strength, that you can support, you can feed, you can give life to. And that is what has to be. This is what we need to understand. This is part of our work. This is part of the totality of understanding the whole creation, not part of it. This is exact understanding of it. How we want to manifest, the way we want to manifest, where we want to manifest, and has to be one condition only, the intention to give and not to take from the environment. If we enter a dimension to take from the environment, we are back to what we do, we have on this planet. We become a takers of packages, because we have no confidence in ourselves that we are the givers, we are the lovers. It's in part of the writing of Baha'u'llah, bless his name, he says, one should not love his nation, but has to love the whole of humanity. And some governments, some people who wanted to use us, you see, they are not nation lovers. But it doesn't say that they are the world lovers. And loving the world means creating peace. We have played with the words. We have played with the understanding of the word, the way it suits us. In space, you play with these things, you play with the fire of the soul of the man. Which means, the soul would not allow, and with it, it demises itself. Because these don't exist in the level of the soul of the man. What you got to understand, is very simple. If the gravitational magnetic field of the copper did not exist in the copper, it could not exist in the body of the man. The elements which are not part of this planet, are not in the physical strength of the body of the man either, but they exist in the soul of the man. The soul of the man carries the full spectrum of the field of strength of the universe. But in this condition, in this position, as a physical entity of the body of the man, manifests itself as a man. If, if the strength is in the condition level of the fish, you manifest yourself as a fish, or as the amino acid of a tree or a plant. <coughs> in so many ways, if you understand the totality of understanding, the teaching, goes back to what I said. When I teach, I teach every living thing on this planet. And man thinks teaching is only for man, because he can hear the voice as a man. But we teach as a soul, so we elevate the totality. And those who understand, they become part of the process. Then, you want to see, 
how the fish feels in the cage you have built him and you want him to live, you become part of the soul of the fish. You feel his pain and his condition. And then, you change. We had a very recent case in Accra. The fishery has a huge problem. They put, five meter by five meter tank, mesh, and they put so many fish in it, and then they leave it in the rivers or in the ocean, and they want to catch or they want to grow the fish. But the fish, 80% of them don't want the engagement, they don't want the prison. So, they create a cancer to kill themselves, not to face this imprisonment. And the fisherman <coughs> loses 80-85% of his fish growth to this condition. They don't understand, they call it, there is a disease which the fish gets. I explained to the ministry, you have to understand the soul of the fish. It does not want to be captured. He does not want to be free to the sky next to him who stinks and the other one is too fat. I want to go where I am. Or, we have a condition to elevate the soul that I'm happy with what it is. I accept the condition that through my soul I can give satisfaction to the guy who smells and the guy who's too fat. That we are happy to be together. And when you and you understand the emotion of the fish comes from the strength of the certain type of zinc that it gives him that pleasant satisfaction. You find the fish change. And they say, oh, they found the technology that it can change the fish, it doesn't get the disease. No, we have understood the essence of the creation of the soul of the fish, not finding a cure for the physicality of the fish. The father gets cancer of the prostate because of the conflict with the son. The mother gets the breast cancer because of the adulterous life of the husband. Now you understand. Do we do a prostate cancer, chemotherapy, and then still the father dies? because the pain of the emotion with the son is too big? Or do we elevate the soul of the father and the son to the level that physicality of the father sees no reason for destruction of the body? It's a misunderstanding. Or do we teach the man, would you like to live a lot of life? Because it leads to the cancer of your wife and the loss of the mother of your children. Or do we teach the woman, if you are correct, the man does not need to look outside. Elevation of the soul of the two to fall in love, to understand, is the point. Not the physicality of the adultery, or the cancer of the breast. This is what we have to understand. This is where the next level of what you call application of the health of the system comes in. Understanding what leads to the condition, not the condition is there, how we can eradicate it or we can change it. Because the present tablet tries to interact on the physical matter level, nobody has made GANS or plasma of the disease that you can give and it can elevate. The new dynamic systems do. This for the first time, we manage to go into the next level. And the present doctors have a huge problem with it, because they don't understand it, because they've all been taught at the matter state and tablets and pharmaceuticals, check in the bank. The process of the change comes from the total understanding of totality, and not all of us are capable to do that, because we have too many other things in physicality we are tied up. So, try to understand, try to expand your knowledge, 
but do not take side, because that taking side or limitation can become your demise in the space. Learn the knowledge in its totality, at least hear it. You don't need to understand it, because when the time comes, you will understand. It's the same as the balls we showed. This was there four years ago, but you were not ready. As I said, I'm a master of teaching and I know how to teach, who to teach. Some of you are quick, you understand fast. Last week, the week before, when I start explaining about mixing of the amino acids and the, in the core, I received a text from my Armanjan. He says, did it until that three years ago, it can be done? I said, you are too fast, the rest were not ready, I had to slow you down. This is, some of us get enlightened ahead of the others, but the others will catch up. But the problem is not that those catch up. We are a live entity, we are humans. In the body of physical human, we create new souls. The teaching has to be for those two, and the ones which these souls create, and those after, and the rest. It's not just us, this teaching, for us. The teaching is for the future generations, that they understand more and more from earlier age, earlier time of inception, that we need to teach the soul of the man, not the physicality of the man, in the cages of the schools of the man. If you teach the soul of the man, the totality of the knowledge, you don't need to put him in the classrooms of today, and torture him by a teacher who himself is ignorant totality, so creates a bunch of ignorant children by the education and pragmas of his own life. We give pure souls the bunch of whatever you want to call them, who have no knowledge, but they are there to confirm their existence. As I said, there are no schools in the universe, what we see here. This is the teaching of the physicality, the torture of the physicality in the confinement of bunch of people who themselves have no understanding of the totality. How can they teach? How can allow an illiterate teach graduate PhDs and claim to be a doctor? This is the point which I referred to before. We have to teach the soul of our children that through the elevation of the soul, when they see the knowledge of man on earth, they understand it here, when they see the knowledge of the man in another point of the universe, they can understand how to fit, and when they see another life of universe, according to the knowledge of the strength of their soul, they can appreciate the beauty of the new life they come across. We should take the schools into the soul, by us to understand, rather than giving the hand of ignorance, that they create more damaged souls in the hand of the future cycles. Any questions? Thank you, Mr. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you, Mr. Cash. Uh, just to remind the attendees, they can raise their hand, and we'll get you in as a panelist in order to speak. And we had someone come in as a panelist. They had their hand up. Who was it? Hello. That was me. I I believe I I. That was me. Okay. I have a unstable. I have unstable network. It tells me so. I hear beep 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 beep. Can you start again, mm. please? Yes. Good morning, Mr. Cash. This is Gatwa. Good morning, Dr. Gatwa. I, the, uh, I have a question about collection of guns, because currently we collect uh, not guns but uh, CO2. Uh, I mean uh, amino acids. We collect amino acids and not remove the salt. We don't wash them. 
Is this the right way to use the amino acids in the rotating cores? You have to wash. You have to wash your amino acids. Okay, acid. thank you very much. Mr. Some, some sort of amino acid created on the, um, let's say, potassium or sodium potassium is of different strength. So you have to take the physical level of it out that it becomes the matter, what they call it, the Gans level of the plasma of the amino acid, which is of the strength of that salt, but you don't need the physicality of the salt with it when you carry it. Thank you very much, Mr. Gesh. Thank you indeed. I have to leave around about 11.30, quarter to 12 today. I have to go to some other meetings. Um, in so many ways, as a human race, we have conditioned ourselves. We have pushed ourselves to limit our own understanding, and nobody else has. It's us who decides, I want to become a physicist, or a doctor, or a farmer, because this is what I'm expected to, or what I understand better of. But it's good to be a farmer, but understand the work of the medicine of vegetables is the same as human being. And understanding the essence of it can give me the same. Doesn't matter if I'm a farmer or a doctor. Because I understand the pain of my, what I grow as a vertical being. We have not grown that much to even understand that we need, the same as we have what we call animal doctors, to create plant doctors, to understand the emotional illness of the plants. In pharmaceutical levels, we create things to change it the way we want it. But do we ask the soul of the plant, is this what you're happy with? Or what are the consequences when I change you by forcing conditions on you? We have doctors for humans, we have vet for the animals, but we have never created those who understand the knowledge of the physicality of the plants. That's how ignorant we are, because they're so educated ahead of us that we don't want to show we are ignorant of the knowledge. As I said once to one of our medical guys, or in one of the medical teachings, on the health aspects of the whole technology, What are you going to do, if I bring an entity from planet Zeus in front of you? Because he has never created children by not teaching them from the soul level, and he's taught them from the soul level, and they understand, we have no prostate cancer. But it tells you something to you, according to physicality, it must be a prostate, but sorry, the guy hasn't got a prostate to have a prostate cancer, but to you it looks, why? Because you haven't understood the process of the interaction of the physicality of the emotion of the soul of the man, in comparison to the soul of the entity from Planet Zeus. And the only way you can do, is to be a lover give, don't ask questions. I give everything you need as a patient in front of me. Take what it is, what you don't need. In what comes back from it, it tells you the source of the problem. Not what you're trying to give to him, because the prescription the pharmaceutical has paid me to do. The process of healing in the universe, is through giving to the soul of the entity, not the force of the physicality of the entity, it's the condition of the man's level of understanding. And this is the key. This is how all of us become man of a space, because we understand what is the matter condition of physicality of our life, it belongs to us, 
we have to educate ourselves to understand the level of the soul of the man and that everything. Then, we become educated in the world of the universal economies. Any other question? Uh, yes, Mark Erb had a question here. Mark, do you want to go ahead? Yes, are, are there some clues about how it is to, I know, give from the soul, the physicality, or from the higher level, cent or higher level central so soul, so as to enable them to merge or us to be able to uh, contain the soul of physicality in the higher level central soul in, in space? The, not really. You have to feel it. Um, you want to teach yourself, I hope, I presume, you have a lover, you have a wife, you have a children. When you lie next to them, try to feel their needs. And usually you find out they are takers. They are 99% takers. Very few are givers, and it disturbs you. You get up and you leave the bed, because you are there to give, but they want to take more than you can give, and that is not acceptable to you. We have to feel the emotion. This is what angers me a lot, and puts me to silence a lot of times, that I see, they are takers, and pretend to be givers, and they talk as they are givers. Deception by physicality of the man, but seeing the truth through the soul of the man. You, there is no method, you feel it, you understand it. The only method is trusting one soul. There are many thieves of Baghdad across the universe, and especially in the race of the man. And they call it, I love you, through the love of the man, or deception of the physicality. So trust I will know if give equals take. Thank you. You just give, don't ever take. You see, there is a lot of things we don't understand. There are stages of what I call a stroke, brain hemorrhage. If you have, or you follow people who had a brain hemorrhage in a young age, you see different effects. If you have a stroke or brain hemorrhage in the ages of, um, let's say, 18, 20, 22, 25, and it's at the point that so much information is created in the brain that is going down to the physicality, and the physicality stops receiving and giving more in the emotion, you see a stroke in the upper part of the spinal cord, just at the point of interaction of the field of the brain, with the physical part, or the interaction of what we call the soul of the man, the physical soul of the life. It leads usually to paralysis, heavy paralysis, wheelchair bound and the rest. If you have a stroke, around the age of 40, anything between 35 to 45, you get a different stroke, different behavior of stroke. And it changes due to position and understanding, you might not see, and in some, in the ones past 42, 45, you see some, some sort of physical damage stroke, but there is a hidden emotion damage stroke, that we are not aware of. But you can analyze it. It brings a lot of anger, it brings people who forget dimensions and positions, forgetting faces, Anger by misbehavior of the youth, because we don't understand. It's something 
I've been good and I've done good, why I'm in this position. And this is huge. World of Science has never studied it. But the people who have a stroke around the age of 40, you'll find out anger, shortness of time, there is not enough time. In midlife, I've been hit, I might not have time, so they tend to jump in conversations, not letting you finish your sentence, because I don't have time, I want to say what I'll say, because if the next stroke comes, I'm gone, I can't say what I want to say. At the same time, it brings a shortness of understanding in the younger generation, because they're wasting time, there is no time, I've had it at the age of 40, I can die, so I don't have time for nonsense. We see behavioral and sometimes physical changes. If you have a stroke in the 50s and 60s, because you have had the time, you already accepted psychologically about 50, 55, we accept we lived our lives. So the stroke creates a massive physical disabilities on the body of the man, usually on the left side. Because it hits you in the direction of the heart emotion. Or what do you do? Hits you on the right side, depends on the level of the emotion and the position of the heart. But in that process, a man goes calm and quiet, because he already accepted demise to be around the corner, but now goes without with physicality damage. So, even if we look and understand, world of science has never looked into the emotion of the man in respect to the stroke, which means separation of the not wanting to exist in a physical dimension, but the force of the emotion of the soul of the man I have not finished yet. There is something to do, something to learn. None of medical research ever looks into the stroke through the soul of the man. And what condition of the emotion it creates within the body of the man. It's a lot for us to learn. We haven't even mastered this part of our lives yet. We have to become aware of our own physical life. We have to be, we have to be part of it. We have to understand the work of the soul of the man with the physicality of the man. Why do we become forgetful, why do we become agitated, why we become part of total lack of understanding and not remembering part of it when we have a stroke around 40-45. And why the same condition in the latter age becomes part of the acceptance. I was ready to die, but now he has come, I go quiet, even though I have anger, what it happened. And why at a youth, at a young age, we see such a stroke that the physicality does not respond to the emotion of the soul? Why do we see Alzheimer's in certain ages? Why do we see ILS with different effects at different ages, exactly like the stroke? And do we have to blame them for what it is there? or? are we the creator of the condition that they got there, but we say it's their problem, not ours. There is a lot now to analyze everything in a further addition to the knowledge. What we have learned up to now in our sciences are not wrong, but now we have to put some right, and some understand the reason in interaction with the soul of the man and soul of the physicality, which leads to the physical condition we see. 
then we become the physicians of the universe. And every single one of us has to become the physician of the universe, because otherwise we will not be able to exist. We are not training bunch of space doctors, we are training bunch of souls who understand the work of the soul of the entity, not the physicality. We study these because we have to understand it. We have to add to the present knowledge that the process of change comes in a deeper way, in a faster way, and understanding in a way, otherwise we cannot. Any other question? Uh, yes, we have a question from uh, Krasmir, he says, Mr. Kesh, you said that the soul has the essence of all elements. Does the souls of other galaxies have those attributes, which leads to the next question, are all souls the same in their internal structure, or yes. are there different nations of souls? Nope. All okay. are the same. That's why you can manifest yourself in the shape of another being, or in the environment of that being. You don't go and import it, it's already within you. You decide that what strength to expose. That's why, go back to the original teachings all the time, I refer to, you manifest yourself at a point of the environmental condition, feel the strength. And that condition tells you you want 20 arms and 16 legs. It doesn't mean that you couldn't have it on Earth, but it's not applicable. You try to be, a, a, what do you call it? Centipede with hundreds of legs, trying to run in on, on, on what do you call it, to do a cooking and shopping and everything else. More than two is too much. But in that space you need it. Because it allows you to function in certain way that is necessary for that environment. But it meant you already had it, but if you come to Earth and you try to copy that 14 legs or 16 legs and 20 arms, it doesn't work. You'll be falling over yourself. And would it be able to carry the weight of it? So we carry all that with all the souls in the universe carry the full spectrum of the field of strength and they manifest themselves according to the point of manifestation. That's why I keep on saying from teachings a long time, there are many of us which are not us from this planet. But they behave and they look. This Saturday, this uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday is the, what they call the Christmas for the path of those who have chosen to find a way through the name of Blessed Name, Christ. He wish you a very happy Christmas. And when you look at Christmas, look at the essence of the soul of the Christ, not churches, books and the crosses which are put there to deceive man. Then you might hear the voice of the Christ in the essence of his soul. Try to free yourself from attachments to things which has no need for attachment to through the physical dimension of the physicality of the man, but to the soul of the man understand it. Then you find out, living becomes very easy. You can walk away from those who have the wrong intention. And let them live within the structure themselves till they receive from you enough that they elevate their souls. They call you your lovers, but in fact they are not. They are the lover of their own physicality to confirm their bigger existence.
we don't preach, we enlighten you to see the totality and that's the purpose. When you see it, you understand it, nobody can abuse you and nothing is magic. Any other question? Hi, Mr. Keshe. Hi, everyone. Yes, Paul. Morning. Yes, Mr. Keshe. I have some question, and my question is about one specific case we have in Togo about the death. We have our national roads, and uh, we have a big hall somewhere, and the road pass by mountain, the mountain, and the place name is uh, Alejo. There we have a lot of accidents, more than uh, one to two million persons dead there by accidents. And then in the midnight, there are a lot of things going there. We see or we have absorbed there, uh, what you call that? The life, we see the death making like they are still in the life. They have a... Uh, what you call it. They have the light, they make it dance, they play the tam-tam, they make it dance, uh, those are crying, and uh, when you are on the road at the midnight, you can see the light of a group of some person coming. When they are near to you, like a 10, 10 meter, they disappear, and then you see them again in the background, walking and uh, going, on the on the roads so how we can explain this kind of phenomenon you have to understand what has happened there what's the condition and what is the position of it we have many places in different part of the world who because of the configuration of the gravitational magnetic field they affect us in certain ways and they create certain conditions. And you have to understand what strength created in that condition, in that environment, which affects what part of the essence of the creation of the man. What does it elevate? What does it reach? We have a scientist who worked with us in Italy, and she used to be with us for some time, a couple of years ago. And um, she told me, since I started using Gans, I lose time in the same area when I travel. I travel for half an hour and it looks just now and I'm there, I'm not supposed to be. And it happens in the same area and I always think about my husband who died and she was, she used to adore her husband. Nowhere else she loses time, except in this stretch of road. What that part has a memory, what she has in that part, we don't know because we were not there when the two souls traveled that, that stretch, they used to travel frequently. It was so painful, I don't want to remember, or touches the emotion which is left when we passed, and is part of me which doesn't want to remember. We see many people going to places and searching for cure from this disease or that disease because they reached that area. The pilgrimage in Spain and Norway, in France. They believe in it, and through the belief they create the fields, 
which creates that condition of the emotion for that disease or whatever they call it. But they don't see themselves by changing the emotion, have changed the strength of the interaction of the physicality at that point. Nothing else. What you call the cure, the magic, comes by man understanding, because of my expectation, accepting certain field of strength. Now I have that, and that strength, cancer of this cannot exist, or depression of this cannot exist. We have to educate ourselves. Why? Why there are these places that people go to, or they believe these things happens here? Because we have to see what does that environment fits into. Why you go to some houses and it's totally cannot be there. You walk into, there's a, what do you call it, a store, that you can go in and you see all the staff are stressed. Three, four floors, you see it, you feel it. Nothing is done, we just here. Even they tell you not to buy from here. It's a strange condition. I've been to places like this. And you go to another branch of the same company, and they sell you war sand to the, what they call the, the Arabs. Same product. Because the environment, I was, uh, recently I looked at one, and I, I concluded, there is so much asbestos is used in this building, that it creates the fields, this is why we don't like asbestos. Asbestos field strength is partially the same as the emotion of the depression of the man strength. That's why it affects us, no other reason. Then when it affects us, the physicality change comes after it. It's the soul which is change the, the field of strength from this emotion part, which comes from the soul part of the man, that it creates this condition. We have knowledge seekers who work with lead, they can tell you very, very easy. You put, you create gas of lead, you feel depressed, it creates a depression, because its combination of the field of strength is the field of strength of the depression of the man. That's all it is. What in emotion we call creation of depression. Drives a crazy, drives animals crazy. Don't ever make lead gans. Because if the part of the substance of the gans is the level of the emotion of depression, you feel it, People, some people in research, they tell you, I feel sad, I don't want to have it anywhere near. Why? Because depression in the body of the man comes from when you take more, and that strength of taking more that you don't give is at the length of strength of the field of the lead. Some of the atomic structure, magnetic gravitational field of strength of lead. That's all. Understand it. Don't become just because. Any other question? Anybody morning, wants to enlighten us? Yeah. Carry on. Good morning, Mr. Kesh. This is Herbert from Austria. Good morning, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. I have the following question or thoughts which came into my mind in the last days. Can we compare the process <coughs> where the plants through the process of photosynthesis, transform, for example, different minerals from the lower strengths of matter strengths into Gans or plasma strengths, which is a higher strength. Can we compare this with the uh, <coughs> Gans process, where we also transform the matter state of copper, zinc, and iron? into the higher strengths of, of the GANs and plasma, so that we can, could say that also the GANs process is a kind of photosynthesis. Is nope. my understanding right? No. Nope. Okay. But it depends what you call photosynthesis. We understand. It's just very much uh, uh, the explanation of osmosis effect they use in the water cleaning. 
what is the process, what magnetic gravitational field changes that it creates the condition. Start looking everything at a field of strength and then you can understand and maybe elevate it or change it to what you want to because you can add to it, because you know you are the creator. There is no wishing, it's understanding. What is that process? What does it accommodate? That you call it, consensus, and then somebody else calls it something else. And it had no name 200 years ago, but people understood and used it. Mm. Very hard, huh? <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, <coughs> so, doesn't the plant through this... Uh, oops. Uh, mm, um, no, how to call it, receiving field energy from the sun, from the environment, um, transforming the, the minerals into, into organic minerals. And this organic minerals, we call it, uh, is, is easier for the, for the body to, to receive or, or accept than the okay. Can I, can I, I'm going to stop you there, because I have a reason to stop you. Okay. Just go back in past couple of sentences you said. It changes the mineral into... Carry on. Into, into a, organic, uh, which is called organic minerals. Okay, uh, what's uh, it, okay stop, stop. What's the difference, what's the difference between the matter mineral and an organic mineral? Uh, from my understanding, it's a higher strength of, of minerals, um, wh which the body can easier absorb and work with. Could it be lower? Or can we define it generally? There is a process that we can change the matter elements into mineral elements. And then there is a process where we can change the mineral elements field strength that it can fit into the field strength of the emotion of the man for a given field strength. So, what you're explaining, a process that we can add fields into that allows a given filter strength to be released that it can be accepted by the plant. A plant doesn't change a given mineral to a, what you call, biological, whatever level, if it doesn't have a need for it, or it doesn't create the field strength of it. Why, how can you change a matter state into a mineral state? How can you change a sugar lump into sweet water? You create an environment of the water that it allows the same molecules to be much freer. But in fact, the sugar is still there. If you dry the water or evaporate the water, you have the sugar back again. So, the process of what you explain is the creation of the field strength that it allows matter state, which is a lower, to change into a freer dimension of the same field strength. You create a new condition, that's all it is, you create a new gravitational magnetic field strength condition. That it allows the matter state to change, and if man understands what you just brought on the table, which you speak so freely about, and it's written so many books about, understanding is the field strength, not just the word, then you can change the middle of, let's say, whatever, to the level, understanding level, of the emotion of the man, and then through it to add to, and that strength, the soul of the man, be it on the physical part, so, or the total soul, the soul of the man. Now we understand more, you as scientists of the technology, should be able to explain it and show it, and it becomes so easy, that only man on the street understand, it's not a term used by scientists. And it says, what?
thank you for explanation. I need to think about. Oh, no, it needs a lot of understanding, not thinking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any other question? Uh, we have uh, Klaus. Klaus Dieter has uh, has his hand up. Klaus, do you want to go ahead? Yes, thank you. Thank you, everybody. I have only to add something for Herbert. Uh, this is a kind of transmutation from the elements in a little bit higher state. As we all know, uh, we have so much different uh, configurations also in the oxygen or the hydrogen. We, we call them oxygen or hydrogen, but there are different uh, configurations in it. And we have to look a little bit deeper into this and then we uh, come to aware that it's all the same game. There's only uh, a little bit uh, other level of this. That's what I have to add. Thank you. And if we want, uh, we can uh, go together when uh, Mr. Cash uh, dropped out from the teaching, we can together in this universal connection field and feel this, how we can uh, uh, to become more and more trust into this, that it's real when we um, make a conscious choice, then all the things, all the reality around us in, and in us is changing. Thanks. Thank you very much. Togo, Shigben, you, uh, can you speak there? Yes, Tom. Hello, Mr. Kesh. Jibani from Togo. I want to ask a question about soul level. Yeah. Uh, in my practice, when I give, like, uh, somebody feel pains, and I say, by my soul level, I can give uh, a health for that person, I made one observation. Uh, not like a good minute, like uh, one minute, two minutes, I feel this pain, my physical level. And then after, I don't find the, the feeling. And the destination person have this uh, illness finish. My asking is to know that how I feel it, because I don't reach, or how to explain it. Thank you, Mr. Kish. I don't understand what you're trying to explain. My question is that, uh, in uh, soul level explanation, we can, by our soul level, help other person, to not feel pain. When one person come and say that, oh, I have uh, this pain, I say, okay, I can by my soul level raise this person to not feel this pain. When I practice it, I feel small time the pain that the, that person feel it. And after that, I will not feel it in my physical level. I want to understand it. I still don't understand what you're trying to ask me. Okay. Uh, you say in our one teaching, you say if you want to uh, take soul level, you will practice, you have 
the destination soul, your physical soul, and the work you want to practice. For example, one time I was teaching and one student said that she has stomach ache. And in a few minutes, she can never listen to what I was teaching. And I come here to ask her a question, what happened? She says she has stomach ache. And I say, I raised by my soul to your soul, not to dominate you, but to let you uh, out the pain. You cannot feel it. And then she said me automatically, I missed. I have this pain, now goes, it's not stomach pain, but I have in my brain. Few minutes, she said she don't feel again pain, pain finish. But now me, I feel this pain small, small time, like two minutes. And after that, I don't feel the pain. And this student don't feel again this pain. My question is that, by giving in soul level, is it automatically that I will feel the pain by intervention to another person to let the pain go out? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe you want the desire of emotion that she stays in a classroom that you can share the knowledge and she doesn't miss any. I've seen this happening, people instantaneously coming up with a pain and you don't understand it, but if you stand back and analyze how it happened, when it happened, and the reason it happened, then you see, it was made through emotion. I've stood this many, many times, one very recently. I was witness to sudden rise of pain, it's so physical to the person, and then you say, hey, why? And they come up with all the excuses for it, and then you say, no, because I was there, I was witness to it, what it is. Why do we manifest pain? Is that pain in given part of our body which we manifest, is a part of the insecurity of not receiving enough emotion, that with it we want to confirm it? I've, I've seen this very recently, extremely recently, that out of nowhere people come up with pain. And in a specific condition, which means has an emotional side of it. And then, if you explain it to them, they understand that you understood why the pain was there, which was really felt as a pain, but it was a pain of the emotion at the level of the soul of the physicality, not the physical pain as a pain. If you get poisoned or you get hit on the head, you feel a pain because of the physical interaction. But these kind of pain, it means feel what I can. If you ate the wrong food, you have that, that something is there, you still have to understand why it does that. But in other ways, it means I have the same strength as you have in feeling, and I want you to be here, that I want to, for you to receive the knowledge I give you. So I take your pain, I become part of it, that you don't feel it. You become the path in the way you feel, look at it. You transfer the energy to yourself. And we do it because we are emotionally connected, we do it. And it's very, very common. We do it with our children, a lot of us do it. If you have a child and is in pain, says, let me put my hand there, and I can take the pain away. And the child says, his papa is gone. You become that path, but the path of emotion. You transfer the fears of the emotion energy through the body of the man. One thing is strange with you is you speak from Togo and you're so clear and Paul speaks from Togo and we have problem. You two better talk to each other and use your system.
Thank you very much. Anything else? Okay, thank you, Mr. Kitch. Thank you. Dude. Now I understand very well. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Paul, have to try to speak, and you see how, what happened in our talking. Thank you very much indeed. Is there any other question anywhere else? Hello, Mr. Like... Kesh. Hello, Mr. Kesh. Yes, Paul. Yes, we have uh, we have got one line of uh, internet now, and uh, we are all speaking from uh, this center. We have taken it for so now. I think the problem connection is solved. So thank you very much. Thank you indeed. Rick, are there any other questions in the background or shall we um, call the day? Well, we do have a question from Hassan and he put it in the q and I just promoted him to a panelist so he could ask it uh, in person. It, it is relevant. It, he talks about um, um, the work he has done to, to uh, well, I should allow him to ask his question, actually. Basically, he's um, interested in this discomfort he feels when uh, people see him as unique because of his uh, viewpoint has been changed and so on. And he's, he doesn't consider himself unique, but that others have forgotten the power of their own souls. So... Um, Suffice to say, you see, uh, Hassan, can you, are you able to speak there yet? Let's see, oh, I still have to allow him again. Let's try that again. Hello, Hassan, are you there yet? Start taking yes. children to the Are we there yet? <laughs> Hassan, you're in as a panelist. I'll uh, unmute you and see if you can speak right now. It may not be a good time, but I'll try. Hello? Can you hear us? Hello, Hassan? He might have trouble with his uh, microphone or something. Okay, we can all hear him next week. Okay, well, I could uh, I could read what he uh, what he wrote here. Maybe that would be relevant. Uh, he, let me briefly go through. He says, since I embraced the ethos of the Keshe Foundation and started to detach uh, from the physicality by giving away to people whatever I have which they need. They are like surprised and uh, more often, I can say, choked by my actions. They always tell me you're unique. Nobody is like that nowadays. But each time I hear those kind of words, I feel a lot of joy because I know we are many working on that path of serving. But I feel myself not wanting to be greater for whatever I make. All this leads me to understand that lots of souls are lacking of real love. My wish is that we all master the knowledge and get enlightened to attain every soul which is lacking of love. What I want to know is why am I feeling that discomfort of uniqueness and how to push people so that they can be enlightened and know I am not unique, we are all equal by soul. Some have just forgotten the power of their souls. And uh, he continues, Am I taking from their souls by not being able to enlighten them? Or am I giving to souls which are not ready to receive and that makes me feel discomfort with them seeing me unique? I don't know. I'm not in the environment you're in. And depends how what you see in this process of giving. Are you seeing that you look generous and this gives you a pleasure to be because now you are part of or does, do you need to give in a physical dimension where in the, in the level of soul um, you can give more? It just depends on how we see and how we, we perceive ourselves and what actually gives us the satisfaction to exist. Any 
it's a very, 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 very personal. And depends on what gives you confirmation and what you're happy with to do. Okay, fair enough. Did you want to um, end things now, Mr. Kesh? Is that, uh, I know you have a, another meeting yeah. to go to as well. Somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Yes, so in general, what we got to learn in teachings are very compact. We don't go in four or five hours of teaching, but usually what I've tried to do in past few weeks, past few months is, the first 20 minutes, half an hour of teaching is so much condensed, it needs a lot of understanding. We explained about the soul, how the soul, and where the soul is, and we explained how you can feed your soul, that you can live in the expanded universe. In a way, when we are, let's say, left alone and free in a space, the physical dimension existence according to the Kelvin temperature of minus blah blah blah, has no relevance on the soul of the When you fall in the volcanic magma, magma does not take the soul of the man. It takes the physical condition of the man. The soul of the man is free. This is what we have to understand. And if, when we understand this, makes us man of space. It brings us in the dimension of physicality of the universe, dimension of existence of the universe, and the universal community. It's not when we say we're going to take you to universal communities, they said a lot of UFOs will come, a bunch of aliens come out and say, oh, we are here, would you like to see 20 tales or whatever? No. It's to elevate the man to see the truth about the creation and the soul of the man in the dimension of the soul of the universe. To understand, I am part of. I belong and I understand the totality. Those of you who are sightseers, you're quite welcome to your phones. Those are who are universal seers, enter the soul of the universe through the soul of the man. There's a big difference. And to a lot of you, it's just the word is spoken. But those of you who understand, will take the path, will see the universe to be the universal strength of the creation, not to the dimension of physicality of the man. As I said many times, I'm ashamed to be in the body of the man. Because he has too much, too much restrictions, and too much things which forces it to do wrong, because of its physical existence. What has gone wrong on this planet, we have never un understood. But there's something inside, in the grain of the soul, of the physicality, which has caused this problem. Why man has become so self-centered, why man has become so much that he is everything. And the beauty of it is, all the men feel the same. So there must be, really something neat adjusting in the total soul of the man in conversion to the emotion of the physical side of the soul of the man. This is the problem. If you look at the teaching, I give you many choices. Stay as you are, you don't need to reach your soul whenever you need it, maybe 10 generations down the road, you already child, oh I know this, but where? My great great grandfather, ten, ten, 10 generation before I heard it. You are given an option to become free from the physical detachment, but still be here. You are given an option to become passengers of the physical life, the transportation, what you call UFOs. You are given in the teaching the option to have the understanding of your soul, that you become passengers of the universe. Then you are given an option to understand the totality work of your soul, that you understand the work of the Creator. And every man has the capability to enter any of them. It's you who have to decide. That's what these teachings are coming up to under there. We told you the physical condition. A lot of you still have a problem with the flight system. 
But, if you look at it, I have said it many times, you are on a UFO called Earth, and you don't see yourself inside the ship, how it's traveling. How do you expect to be able to travel inside this thing, while you yourself have never understood how the thing you have been passenger of is traveling? It's not my teaching, it's your lack of understanding of the totality. But, I have taught you everything. Try to understand the essence, and choose the point of comfort, not choose the point I want to be seen, because it's fashionable. There are no catwalks of fashion, in the span of the universe. You can go with the naked soul of the man. You decide the manifestation of the man, the physicality of the time, position and the place. This is what this teaching are leading to, for you to see a totality. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for today. And hopefully, we'll learn more next time. Thank you indeed. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Kesh. And that brings to a close the 203rd Knowledge Seekers Workshop for Thursday, December 21st, 2017. Happy Holidays to all Please. that observe those holidays. And I think Flint's going to take us out with our uh, with some music and our uh, 200 Knowledge Seekers Workshops video. Okay, bye everybody. See you next uh, week for another installment the 204th uh, knowledge seekers workshop <music>